Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist Sweden. Last episode, we built up more, and then the United Kingdom declared war on us. And then the Soviet Union declared war on Germany, and because I embraced the Zane full-heartedly, we joined the war against the Axis. So we're in a three-way war scenario. And I'll be completely honest, this is just so goddamn absurd. I can't even. Call me a white call me a white girl with pumpkin spice and say I can't even. Actually guys, give me one second. I'm going to save. I forgot to save since my last recording. Uh, you know what, I'll just cut this out. Alright, save is done. And let us go. You aren't making it over the river. Just accept it. Well, you know, a good thing is, is that we're going to capture, start taking Germany's industry. Because somehow, mighty Sverige is the one invading Germany. Obviously, the Soviet Union is doing a lot, but we don't care about them. They're uh, they're revisionists. We're not even done recruiting all the troops that we could. I'm actually going to put them on resistance suppression. Just because I won't have the ability to resist any... Well, to deal with any resistance. I just do not have the manpower. But I do have almost one million men fielded. Right. I've hit the river. Is this the Elbe? Yeah, because I just do not have the divisions to punch through. And mostly it's this river right here that I can't get over. You know, if the Germans want to attack me, they then they can feel free to.
Just, just stop attacking completely. I don't want to go to all adult serve. Just let Germany attack. They can roast all their manpower. And we have Soviet reinforcements coming. Fantastic. Wait, how the hell do they have 11 million manpower? Oh, I, wait. I think they probably got to the, uh, to the one that gives them 5% more manpower. Jesus Christ. Luckily, the Nazis are just bleeding then. Can we probe? The thing is... I really shouldn't be attacking with infantry. I don't have any tanks. And I mean, I guess I actually kind of do have the industry to support them in a way. Actually, motorization effort. You start going down the heavy tank line. Actually, medium. Man, I wish I was better at this game. No, I'm never going to be able to make a lot of tanks because I don't have oil. Not in an offensive war. Spare tires. Oh, they have the same massive divisions. You know what? I did see this as a strategy. Oh wow, it's exactly 40. Watch that manpower number just drop like a stone. Actually, no. let's just build radar there. Oh, there it goes.
Oh, wait, poop. Don't tell me I just ruined art. Yep, I did. Oh crap. Well, this is just great. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, start building carrier. Don't care how long it's gonna take. One point three nine a year. We'll be able to get a couple. So I guess it's kind of pointless to research if I don't have any infantry. If I don't have any divisions with them. I guess we just oh my god why every time all right well I'm not answering the phone because it's definitely not for me Thank you. Someone picked it up. You know, it always rains around this time of the day. I don't know why. There's always someone. So yeah, we're kind of in a pickle here. Germans can't push us back. But at the same time, we can't push further into... Germany. Well, I can do technology sharing at least. It actually looks like they're, the Axis are starting to push into Spain. Which is actually really not good. Not at all. I really wish you could put more dockyards on the same thing. Might as well have them doing something then. My factories are better off being put to goods than anything else. You know, guys, I'm actually going to end this episode a little bit earlier, so sorry for that. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace!